we are back. Rare. This is I, I so, so boom. boom. Um, I'm LR Blitzkrieg. I am the marksman. What's up, Mark? How you doing, bro? I'm chilling. You good? Super chilling. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling yeah, good. I'm, feeling I'm, good. I'm like got just drunk some coffee. Got high energy for this episode. Oh goodness. You know what I'm saying? We're in December. The year is 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 almost out. Yeah, man. We're wrapping it up. Yeah. 2021 is over. Yeah. But there's a lot to come for what's left of this year mm -hmm. and for next year. Oh, damn. Very exciting. Right. You know I'm very saying? excited for next year. Um, and as we improve the studio, the experience, the mic situation. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're just getting better and better. I had to pull out some fresh gear. Hey. Okay. So this 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 shirt and hat set, right? Tell them. Tell them. Um, is from a company called Gutterwear. And uh, they... Uh, I bought this... Maybe a year, maybe two years ago. I can't remember. But um, it was made to um, honor Sean Price. Okay. Right? So I got my P hat. Rest in peace. Got, we just got P over here. If, if... I know you was connecting that. I knew you were connecting that. That piece is monstrous. I mean. Literally. It's the man right there, Sean Price. You know what I mean? That's, that's such a crazy... Got, got his Infinity Gauntlet on. Crazy piece. But yeah, man, um, he makes a lot of dope stuff. He actually made this pop, this uh, Big L Gotta Wear Pop. You, you guys know I'm into pops, right? Funko Pops. And that's a, that's a Big L stance right there. <laughs> that's just so Big L. Yeah, he's got a scully on. Dope, you know, dope stuff. Shout out to Gotta Wear. Shout out to uh, the whole boot camp, uh, Ruck Down. Bernadette, yeah. Rusty Jux, all my people over there. Uh, General Steel, salute to all y'all. Um, but you know, we 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 like to mix the hip hop in with the uh, with the you know the nerdy stuff. You can't help it. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> look, look at this piece, guys. It, right. it's, it's one of the best underground rappers of all time with an infinity gauntlet on his hand. Like right. this is this is what we do here. So. Standing on top of Godzilla, we can't just ignore that. That's King Kong, bro. Or King Kong, <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> or or just just well, any I say Godzilla. Ape, whatever. Um, but no doubt, man. Um, before we get into the show, there's just a few things you want to just get out. Yes, just because you know this is a great episode. We want to give it our full attention, but I mean the news doesn't stop. So yeah, what, what you got? Well, there's a new trailer. Well, this is the primary trailer mm -hmm. for Peacemaker. Yeah, I just watched it. Super long. Gives you a, <laughs> a lot of... I mean, in a good way, right? <laughs> yeah. It gives you a lot of information and depth into what the show is going to be. Right. Um, I, I think I feel like it might have given us a little too much, you know? But um, I mean, it's a series, so we have we have we have more. It's, it's longer than a than a Disney Plus show. You know what I mean? We'll have more time to spend with them. I'm hype for uh, this series. I think. Um, Marvel made a terrible mistake by ever letting James Gunn get into other comic book uh, characters and stuff because mm -hmm. it, you know, let him feel that he had the freedom to do those other things. And when he's doing those other things, mm -hmm. he can't be over at Marvel doing something else for us, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, he can't be in two places at the same time. Um, it's great that we get good content finally over at DC. Yeah. Through through James Gunn, yeah. But um, you know, I'm a Marvel dude, so <laughs> I'd yeah. like him to be doing more stuff besides Guardians of the Galaxy over on that side of the. Uh, I mean, we're know. we're selfish, you know, but it works out for the fans at the end of the day, you for know, because sure. um, Marvel's doing well to have him work for them, and they're letting him do whatever <laughs> he's doing, whatever he wants. Yeah, and which is good for him because he's a talent. You know, it, it feels like he definitely wanted to finish his. Uh, trilogy for mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> but kill off Drax, right? What happened over there might have left you know a sour taste in his yeah. mouth, and he this might be it. And, and yeah. now he realizes, well, I can still you know play with these toys, but yeah. just not these toys. I'll go over here and do mm -hmm. this stuff. So mm -hmm. you know that's a little bit unfortunate, but you know what are you gonna do? James Gunn will make the most money, I think. Instead of being one of Marvel's great directors, to be DC's prime yeah, guy, yeah, he and can, maybe other companies as well, for sure, for sure. So you know, kudos to him. Um, those uh, perverted text tweets definitely did you did you right, yeah. James yeah. Gunn. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you were mentioning some um, Doctor Strange multiverse so, of madness. So before we talk about Spider Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So um, I don't know if you saw, but. A toy box, 
And this Yes! Yeah. This might be a little spoilery. They always give away the spoilers. This might be a little spoilery, but a Lego yes. set came out. Yes. Where you have Doctor Strange, mm -hmm. Black, America Chavez. Uh, uh, yeah, America Chavez, uh, Scarlet Witch, and Wong uh -huh. fighting against something that looked very, very Shuma Gorathy, right? Yeah. The same the same multi tentacled monster yeah. that we saw in uh the What If series. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But they say that it's not Shumagora. It's, it's another. They label it as another monster. Yes, this other mo monster. I believe his name is Gargantos. Okay, right. I forgot what it was. Right yeah. now, Gargantos in the comic books is basically a watchdog or a you know a beast that's controlled by the Serpent King. Ah. Right. I think his name is Naga. And Naga is a Lumerian. Okay. In Black Widow, there's a ship, I believe, called the, the Lumerian. Lumerian something, right? Now, Lumer Lumerians, it, it's a continent under the water, is right? It? It's, a, it's a race of um, aquatic beings adjacent to the Atlanteans. Wow, that's a lot. All right, so boom. It is a lot. It's a lot because a th lot. there's a lot of, you know, threads that you can it's pull together from, from all of this, right? Yeah. So why make that character right. Gargantos instead of Shuma Gorath? That, sh that you've led up to already and introduced already. But they but they never said the name of that character in any of the things that we saw. They didn't say Shuma Gorath. That's true. We say that because we know the comic book character. Right. So I think it has it should be the same character. So it we've... might be Gargantos that we're seeing in these what if series. Yeah, and this then is not Shuma Gorath. Right. And then again in Multiverse of Madness because Doctor Strange kinda already ran into this character. Interesting. Yeah, man. Shout out to Wong, yo. Wong's getting burned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wong, <laughs> Wong, Wong is an integral character now to the Marvel Universe in a way he's never been in the comics. Never! <laughs> Wong is getting so much burn, it's not even funny, yo. Um, what did you think of the look? Because this is the first time I think I've seen her. What did you think of the look of America Chavez? Um, I mean, just the Lego piece. Well, I mean, on the box art, it showed, it showed like a it little showed, bit. Yeah, a little it wasn't bit. a lot to see, but it looked cool. You know, I don't. I'm not too. I haven't read too much of her character in, in the comics, so I'm not sure. She looks. She looks to me there. She looks very um, runaway-ish. I don't know if you ever seen. I love the runaway. The Hulu series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she looks yeah, very yeah. run. She doesn't look. Uh, she doesn't look opposing in the comic books. Okay. She looks she she looks like a more of a badass than okay. she does on this box oh, art where she looks kind of like meh. But she's supposed to be a powerhouse, right? She's got, she's got super strength. Right. She can punch through um, dimensions. dimensions. So um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. This I mean after Spider Man after we get over the whole Spider Man thing, this is the next huge spoiler pack action pack what actor is in it like this is the next big thing um i saw a tweet from you know somebody that said that the first multiverse of madness trailer is shot and done it's in the can mm -hmm. and we should be seeing it soon um it would be really dope if when we go to see spider-man it is one um, of the trailers it had better be i, I mean because they are they are speculating that Spider-Man uh, No Way Home is going to be the biggest grossing box office movie of all time. They're like they're already speculating that, which is crazy to me oh, because no. be in, in the in the time of you know Pandemic. yeah COVID and everything, um, it 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 it's hard to do. I'd be surprised. And if, that if they do it, that'd be ridiculous, bro. bro. Because let's say what what is the top grossing movie? It, it's it's um it's Avatar. Avatar, right? I can't remember how many billions of dollars it bought in, but even if it brings in, you know, a hundred thousand dollars more than that, you think about what I that number that would have been if there was no pandemic. I can't think of that happening, but I cannot. Th I'll be really surprised if they beat Avatar numbers. I, I'll be you surprised. Think happen? I'll be surprised if it beats in-game numbers. Yeah, and they're like neck and neck. Yeah, yeah, they're neck and neck. Star Wars is up there. The um the. Well, the first, the first, uh, when the J.J. Abrams released, I forgot, mm -hmm. it's like up there in the top. But yeah, there's, there's a lot, I, I would be very surprised if Spider-Man, um, No Way Home grosses as much as Avatar did. For sure. 
Um, anything else about? I mean, we have our tickets. We have our tickets. We're going to be reviewing this film the weekend it drops. Yeah. So avoid spoilers. I mean, it's going to be one of those things it's where... Good. Nobody's going to avoid spoilers. One important part... I am. Because we're going to see it on Friday. It comes out on Thursday. Yes. We're going to see it on Friday. And we have to... I'm, I am dark. I don't want to see nothing. Yeah. Like, I'm not even going to look at my phone. Don't call me on Thursday because I'm not picking up because I might see a spoiler for Spider-Man. You can't even go on... Don't even log on YouTube. Word. Like, don't even do it. Nah. Um, but one thing that I thought was very interesting is that for the press, normally they would have um, private screenings for the press to, mm-hmm. to review the film. Yeah. Um, with this film, this Spider-Man film, they're only letting critics watch 40 minutes of the film. That's not true. Which is That's insane. Not- they didn't do that with Endgame. They didn't do that with any like the major spoiler um, heavy films. So this, that to me, to me, that confirm. There's nothing confirms Toby or Andrew until we see it. Yeah. But to me, that really that's another um, piece of evidence to me that will solidify the presence of Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Okay. I mean, look, <laughs> I love I, it. I, 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 I still I'm I'm hyped to see that, but I'm not super hyped to see it. I just want to see the movie. When it happens, you're gonna fucking cry. A tear gonna come out your eye, bro. The, the, the main thing that I want is for the uh, for Spider-Man to progress within the Marvel universe, right? Yes. More more than you know the little like catchy things that that will draw people in and make them feel like you know you, you're getting something. Um, extra. I just, I just, I don't want this to end. I don't. What I don't want to happen is for the Spider-Man stuff to get sucked into the Sony verse and not be a part of the Marvel universe Makes anymore. Sense. You know, Makes sense. Um, they're saying that there there is going to be another three Spider-Man movies, another trilogy, right? But where does that land? Is it Marvel now helping Sony build out the the Sony verse? Yeah, or is it? more of the Sonyverse coming into the Marvel Universe. You, you know what I'm saying? I totally hear you. I think if this movie breaks the bank like it will, if Sony's smart, they would just let 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 it be. Let the creatives do their thing and keep it... Keep your... B- build your Sony Spider-Verse, right? Mm-hmm. Mor- Morbius, Venom, do your... Do it. Sure. But then bring those characters into the MCU. That's yeah. the way you make the most money. That's that's where you make the most money. Bring Tom Hardy in the MCU? But think about it, right? So if you are make, Let's say... Uh, you know, I'm throwing out stupid numbers. But let's say you make a uh, billion dollars per movie and you get to keep 100% of that... Um, if it's in in the Sony verse, right. right, or if you make uh, one point five billion, right, but you only Smaller get half percentage. of that. If it's in the Marvel universe, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't. the The business part of it, a lot of times, just really sucks for the consumer. It does. It you know does. what I mean? But it does. I will say that um, the things that Marvel has been able to do and finagle throughout different um, movie houses and, and corporations is unprecedented and will never happen again. Right. And it just shows you, you know, so many times before they'd be like, we could never get X, Y, Z actor and this actor and this actor to, to, to do this movie or, you know, uh, mm-hmm. franchise and crossover. And, and Marvel's just like, why not? The money's there. Why not? Um, what's your name? Right. Yeah. So and, and, they, the and, they, and they make it happen. They've done things we've never thought could happen. Clearly, man. Clearly. Yeah. No, I'm with you on that. So this film is highly anticipated, news, news to say. So I right, so boom, we'll be all over it. We're going to cover the film as soon as we can. Yeah. Get you those facts, break it down. And I just can't wait. This is one of my, for the year, I guess this is the high, most highly anticipated film. Yeah. For sure, for the year. Um, What else was there? There was Eternals, which was, you know. Eternals? Cool. You know, I was looking forward to that too. You yeah, know, but not, I, but not as much as this. Not as much as this. Were there any other Marvel movies this year? Oh yeah, Shang Chi. Shang Chi was big. Super, super big. The really, next big one. Really good movie. Um, Very good one. But not culture. as anticipated as as this. I mean, this is Spider Man, yeah. man. This is Spider. This is not introducing a new character to see what would happen. Yeah. This is somebody we know doing something that we never thought would happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in many different ways. So. Um, I'm happy they released these dope movie posters. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. 
Alfred Molina as Octopus is is growing to be one of my top castings in comic book movies mm. ever. Yeah. And they de-aged him perfectly. He looks just ripped from the comic book pages. His tentacles just look so more so more advanced. Jamie Foxx has an arc reactor. What's up with that? Um, Ooh. We're gonna find out. <laughs> What's, What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad you for breaking into that. Shot the side of my line. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm all over it, man. I want to see Jamie Foxx. I want to know why there's an arc reactor. I want to know all these things. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But um, is there any other news besides for the Oof. man? I mean, those are the two top stories, man. Nothing really excited me. Yeah, that, that really stood out. Yeah. Um, you know, but you know, this is we're here for a reason, man. We're here reviewing a, a particular show. Um, I mean, did you see the? Well, this is not hip hop. Did you see the verses with Bone Thugs and Three Six Mafia? <laughs> I saw, I didn't watch it. Like, I put it on when I was going to bed, and I was like, I'm not watching this, right? And then I get up the next day, and I'm on Instagram, and I see clips. It's like, yo, I should have watched this. Yo. Damn. It, it got out of control. As a man. New Yorker, honestly, I props to the South, but that's not, you know, yeah. that's not something that, you know, yeah. I, I'm a true New Yorker. Like, that really. It, it, well, was, it wasn't, you know. The, you know, I I know a lot of. Much love, though. Three Six Mafia songs. Mm-hmm. Um, Juice, party. Juicy J, you know, uh, but I I'm, I know a few uh, Bone Thug songs, right? A few. Bo 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 bo. And I gotta miss everybody. And I gotta like miss everybody. Sixty percent of what I probably know. shouldn't do that because Busy Bone will say we're mocking him and want to fight. <laughs> no beef. No beef, Busy. He learned. though. he apologized. <laughs> You saw that part? I <laughs> hope you saw that part, too. I did. I did. I was like, yo, it had to I, be somebody. I think the initial uh, apology came because he probably didn't get the you know the second half of their money for the show. I guarantee you, when they took him to the back, they were like, we make money off this, yeah, bro. Yeah. Don't mess up our money. You got to test with Swiss real out. quick. Swiss was like, yo, you know that, that other uh, 100K? Yeah, it's not coming. Right, right. There's a reason why we don't pay <laughs> you up like, front. Yo, I'm sorry, B. Let's do this. <laughs> and versus, and not to dwell on this, but versus has been not a love fest. Yeah, we had Gucci Mane up there with G, like we had bitter enemies up there, and nothing broke out. Yo, so when anyway. he threw the mic at them, wow, fam. Guys, He's, yeah, we can't take y'all. No, but that's hip hop. That's hip hop. <laughs>